How do you know whether your arteries are clear and smooth and free of plaque, or whether they're clogged and interfering with your heart function? So how can we find the true age of our arteries? Here to answer that question is cardiologist Stuart Seides. He's the Associate Director of Cardiology at Washington Hospital Center in Washington, D.C., and he's speaking with me, Deborah Kotz, Senior Health Writer at U.S. News & World Report, about how to determine how well your arteries are aging. Good morning. Dr. Seides, I'd like to know if there are ways that people can actually determine the age of their arteries or how well their arteries are aging without seeing a doctor. I think that there are some basic things that people can do uh, to improve their heart health, uh, and I think most folks know what those things are uh, because they've been publicized. Uh, managing uh, one's weight, uh, exercising, uh, discontinuing smoking, uh, and of course, uh, if you do see your doctor, uh, looking for things like uh, the presence of diabetes uh, or high blood pressure. Are there other tests that patients should be asking for beyond their blood pressure screening? I mean, should they be asking for a test that, that people have been talking about called C-reactive protein? Well, C-reactive protein is a new measurement that can be done in the bloodstream that detects inflammation. And, and we know that inflammation uh, in the coronary arteries is part of what creates atherosclerotic plaque and in fact the substrate for heart attacks. And so it appears that in addition to the traditional risk factors that we know about, the addition of CRP or C-reactive protein is something that we are doing more and more uh, in at-risk patients. What should these numbers, you know, if you, if you find out you've got high blood pressure, or you find out uh, that actually your cholesterol is fine but your C-reactive protein is high. What should these tests actually be telling the patient and telling the doctors about their arteries and how to treat them? Well, remember these studies uh, all talk about risk uh, and uh, it's been well established uh, that if you have abnormal values uh, for C-reactive protein, uh, which you've just mentioned, uh, if your blood pressure is elevated, if your blood sugar is elevated, uh, as in diabetes, uh, uh, and certainly if you smoke, uh, that uh, you are at higher risk for developing atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries. And therefore, we know that if you uh, remedy these things, if you can bring them back closer to a normal or optimal range, uh, that you actually can not only prevent heart attacks, but you can reverse some of the abnormalities that may have taken place. So it is uh, neither ever too early nor is it ever too late uh, in a person's uh, life uh, to focus on and attend to these risk factors. So you can actually take clogged arteries and, and guide a patient through that to, to, to make their arteries clearer. If you look at the, 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 uh, the current data, uh, the uh, number of heart attack deaths in the United States uh, has uh, decreased by almost a third uh, in our generation. Uh, and although some of that is due to certain kinds of interventions that uh, we do as cardiologists or cardiac surgeons, a big portion of that uh, has been due to the fact that, folk, uh, that uh, people recognize risk factors, that they are attending to the risk factors, and we have tools that is better antihypertensive medications, better medications to reduce cholesterol, better medications, in fact, to reduce CRP uh, than they did in the previous generation. And so uh, the heart disease story in our country is a very good one. It's a very happy one. Uh, and we've made enormous strides. And a big, a big uh, uh, cause of that is our ability uh, to modify these risk factors. Now, if, if I'm interested, if I haven't been exercising very much, I'm told that I have high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and I really do want to start that exercise program, do I need to have some kind of imaging test, some kind of uh, test to tell me whether my arteries are at risk or how much exercise I can safely handle? Well, I think it depends on who you are. Uh, I think if you're a young, relatively healthy person, uh, I think getting engaged in a, in a sensible exercise program uh, can be done without the need for any testing. I think if you are older, if you have risk factors, or if you're going to do something exceptional, run a marathon, uh, climb Mount Kilimanjaro, uh, I think it is useful to have an exercise study uh, before one starts in on that type of uh, project. Well, Dr. Seides, thank you very much. That was very helpful information. Thank you.